Jeff Mizansky has your name, Jeff? Jeff Mizansky has mm. been locked up for over 20 years. In 1993, okay, so first this guy uh, uh, lives in Missouri, and there's a similar law to the three strikes in your outlaw, but it's, uh, it's called the prior and persistent drug offender law. And he was caught twice um, in the 90s with intent to distribute, uh, marijuana possession with intent to distribute. There were no violent offenses. It was purely marijuana related. Um, but he, found, he, uh, so he, he didn't um, see any jail time for his ter first two offenses. Um, but in 1993, Mizansky went to a hotel with his friend uh, At Atilano uh, Quintana for what he thought was a, a, a job on the side moving furniture. But when he got there, um, his friend w had was meeting this guy to buy a bunch of marijuana. Um, so unbeknownst to the guy or Mizansky, um, they went to a dealer who had been let's say the victim of a sting operation the day before and so he was working undercover and there was a hidden camera as well so both men were arrested for possession with intent to sell even though the video clearly shows that only Quintana uh, was making the buy and Mizansky to this day claims that he had absolutely no idea what was what was transpiring before he went into the motel room so Mazansky was convicted under Missouri's very strict prior and persist persistent drug offender statute, and all of his appeals were denied. Uh, but a civil rights activist and lawyer, Tony, Tony Nenninger, he's taken up the case now. And uh, so this has gone back into the headlines, and he's taken up the case and has ri written a letter to the Missouri governor pleading... Um, to give this guy a, a new case, a, a, a new trial. Um, and he said in his letter to the governor, I am not aware of any other person in Missouri who is serving a life sentence for a nonviolent cannabis-only offense. It is no secret that all recent major polls indicate over 50% of Americans, including Missourians, favor the complete legalization of adult use of marijuana. We're not asking you to commit to this new majority preference for cannabis legalization, but rather as governor of Missouri to represent a current population's modern socio-political trend to legalize marijuana laws and considering the commutation of Jeff's sentence. When Jeff was sentenced in June 19th of, two, of 1996, the population and the judiciary are, were, were guided by hysterical misinformation about cannabis that has since been clarified by more extensive science. Modern judicial sentencing and practices reflect the science and the population's recognition that cannabis is not the scourge of society that it once was thought to be. It is reasonable for you to commute just sentence consistent with modern sentencing practices. So we're hoping that this guy gets another chance at getting out of prison and not facing life in prison. He's already faced, he's already gone through 20 years in prison and he's never going to be able to get that time back in his life over two decades, over absolutely no violent offenses whatsoever. Three drug offenses, that's it. I, I mean, isn't it supposed to be innocent until proven guilty? Uh, what, what wasn't the burden of proof um, to prove that he had intent to buy or sell um, placed on the court's you know, it, hands? It shouldn't. Look, it shouldn't even matter. Why? It should. Why it shouldn't it even illegal? matter. It shouldn't even matter because even if he did buy it, even if he did sell it. He doesn't deserve to go to jail, especially for 20 years. Yeah, especially a lifetime sentence. He served 20 years. He's got life to go. Yep. And that's, once again, I, I got to say, why, why is he even in prison? Why is this illegal? Why should it continue to be illegal? Why are we yep. even having this discussion? I mean, absolutely true. I mean, 
when the hell, when the hell has anybody done anything super ambitious or you know cr criminally you know maganal maniacal on fucking marijuana? That you know that that's one. And why are we locking up people for peddling a plant? And and, and why are we putting such horrible sentences? You know, draconian sentence on people for nonviolent based offenses. Right, there are people that get out on parole after a year in prison or even no prison at all for rape, assault, rape, robbery. Rape, assault. Some people get less than ten, less than five years for murder. Yeah. Yeah. Some people get. Um, remember that person that got thirty days for rape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the guy. We're locking away people for non-violent. I'm sorry. We're locking away people for a non-violent drug offense for life. Really? We yeah. gotta put that. We gotta put that. Just put an end to the mandatory minimum sentencing, and put an end to the the, the war on drugs. I mean, it's it's the Holocaust in the slow motion. Yeah, well, and the war on drugs, and I'm the sorry. mandatory minimum sentencing, and for God's sakes, end these three strikes and you're out laws. Yeah. Thank you, Bill Clinton. If you're yeah, watching, gotta give uh, Eric Holder a little bit of credit for trying to ease up on this. And look, you don't see me giving Eric Holder a lot of credit half the time. So in this in this case, I do give him some credit for trying to ease the, min the mandatory minimum requirements. I think that's a good step. And look, you know, I say this all the time. That's because the public's do, voicing his hand. No, every time we do, yeah. But every time we do a drug story, I tell you that. I make the prediction, a, a bold prediction, maybe not so bold, but that we'll have marijuana legal within 10 years. Within 10 years. The way, just like you said, popu uh, public perception, public polling on this shows that Americans are generally in favor of legalizing cannabis. That's because the corporations haven't figured out a way to run it yet. I mean, pretty soon you'll be able to buy you know, a set of Marlboro Kush Cools, and that's what they want to do, is prevent individuals from growing it themselves or figure out a way to market themselves and create small businesses. The large corporations like Phil and Morris, which currently do cigarettes and tobacco, are going to try and get in on the mar marijuana market. Right. And that's also why the medical marijuana industry doesn't want to see full legalization of marijuana because they would, they would actually lose money. They want to keep, they're like, no, legalize medical marijuana, but don't legalize it completely. We don't want these people like growing their own and stuff. I mean, that would take money out of our hands because we want to have the control to, um, you know, be able to prescribe these things and charge a ridiculous amount of money for them. Despite these roadblocks, marijuana legalization—it's it look, it's coming. It's, it's, a way it's getting there. Out. Some freaking politician I, I just, just threw it out today. The petition to get marijuana legalized in this state. In the state of Florida, so yeah, and look, yeah, there are people you know, working Colorado really hard to get it legalized in Florida. In Colorado and Washington have already paved the way, and since Colorado hasn't caught on fire or sunk into the ocean yet or anything like that, well, technically Colorado is on fire. Yeah, you know, the, <laughs> only parts of Colorado are on fire. <laughs> oddly enough, some other parts have too much water. Right. Hmm. I but, know, that's, not... but that's God punishing Colorado for legalizing marijuana. He's making no, half of it sink into the earth Colorado and half of it burst the into flames. Punishing them for what, gay marriage? I, I <laughs> thought it was for the gays and then for pot. And, and it, I'm not sure which order. But no, the, the point that I'm trying to make, too, all kidding aside, is that Colorado and Washington have not imploded from legalizing marijuana. And a lot of the people, a lot of the states are seeing this, and they're pushing forward for their own legalization efforts. And I think within the next 10 years, we're going to see most of the states legalize it. There will be holdouts. There always are. But 10 years, a majority. We're going to see it. It's going to happen. Mark my words. 10 years from now, you can look at this video. And be like, that guy was that bald guy was right. I agree, and I hope it. I hope it happens sooner than that. I hope it happens within the next five or six years. And uh, 
But it, it's something, it's a force now that's started that can't be stopped. If people are going in that direction, they're not going to go back because the education is out there and it's all over the place now. Marijuana doesn't make you a raging psychopath. It doesn't contribute or cause or trigger psychotic disorders. I mean, that was a rumor going around for a long time that intelligent, really smart people that I talked to were like, but yeah, in some circumstances, though, it can trigger mental illness. I'm like... The power what on of earth are you talking about? <laughs> Once yes. again, it's, it's a theme tonight. I keep saying it over and over again, and it's it's one hundred percent true. We got this power of propaganda, you know, these places putting out these false reports and saying things that just simply aren't true for their own agenda. When it comes to this case, I mean, this guy, let him go. He's not violent. He was a non-violent offender. Like, yeah, he, he should have been let go the first day. It, I, it, you shouldn't have things like in this case, in these kinds of cases when there's non-violent drug use and possession, you shouldn't have these three strike laws. I, like I understand in some other cases maybe having laws similar to these, but when it comes to non-violent drug offenses, who are you hurting? You're not hurting anybody. Right. So why should you go to prison? Absolutely. He didn't <clears throat> He did not hurt anyone, but they ruined his life. They destroyed I mean, it years just, of his life. It it breaks my heart that he has been he, he has been stripped. He has been robbed of two decades of his life that he's never going to be able to get back. Uh the, well, the prime the of his with, life, uh, his youth. Well, it was remember it was the same issue with uh Stephanie George, if you can remember, she was the one that had her uh, boyfriend, I believe, planting or leaving crack in her attic or something like in her attic. Yes. And then she got a life sentence, but luckily she got a new – she's getting a new trial, so that's good. So if she can get a new trial, why can't this guy? Right. And for me, I'm, I'm hoping that the, you know, the prosecutors or whatever, the courts in this case – Say yeah, let's give this guy a new, you know, a new trial. Let's let's look at it again, and let's maybe commute the, what's left of his sentence. He served 20 years. There's no reason to take more of his life now. He's already had it bad enough. Just let him go. Just let him go. Right. Of course. Uh, they he doesn't even need to go through a whole new trial. Just let him go. It's ridiculous, and it's a waste of taxpayer, taxpayer money, money and. Resources. Police resources and court time and resources so that, that could be going to actual violent offenders and people that deserve to be sent to prison and people that deserve to be sent to, you know, in front of a judge. It's so much easier to write up a, a drug case, though, than it is to actually go after real criminals. And it's easier to jail these types of people because they, they give you less trouble. They give you less hassle. They're less likely to get you know, violent and rowdy and, and you know, prison guards and, and they'd rather have a prison full of uh, non-violent drug offenders than violent rapists and, and you know... And that uh, leaves them out on the street with us. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. If you want to see more, Go to our channel at youtube.com slash tytnation. And if you really want to support the show, support this channel, go to our fundraising campaign at www.patreon.com slash tytnation. The website is in the description below. Thank you guys and keep watching.